I'm always searching for a computer or tech related stuff on eBay I find unique or interesting. I don't know what it is about thin clients that gets my attention. They are made specifically for office like surroundings with low power consuming components. So why would anyone want to convert them into normal PC platform? Is it a challenge? Is it the price? Is it because they're small? Or is it just plain old fun? Let's check it out. What we do here is go back, 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 back. This is a 10 Zig 5600 series that there's not a whole lot of information I can find on it, but I do know it has a 1.6 GHz Intel Atom dual core, one whopping gigabyte of RAM and Windows XP embedded on a IDE flash memory module. Oh yeah, that's only four gigabytes. In order to change anything here in the BIOS, you have to reset the password. So we have to take that apart to do that. So let's go ahead and do that now. Alright, with the battery pulled out for a little while, that will give our thin client time to reset back to its default password. Once put all back together again, we can enter the case sensitive password 10zig with zig in all capitals. But now, baby, we can change that boot order so it will boot from USB and our new light operating system. I tried various light operating systems on this, and working with a total of 4 gig to play with, a Windows 7 Ultimate Light ISO seemed to be the best bet. When fully unpacked, it was only 3 gigabytes. Look for that link in the description, but what do you say we just get on with this? That was some good $12 gaming. I had a blast. And who said 32-bit gaming is dead? Wasn't me. 
I think upgrading up to 2 gigabyte of RAM would be a good performance boost and maybe a faster flash drive where I stored the games. But wow, it only took a day of headaches and finding an operating system and multiple uh, installs with Rufus. But I think this was 12 bucks well spent. So thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.